Hey there and welcome to Concept Hunter. Today we're going to talk about Untangle 1.5. I did not play the original, but according to what I understand, this is just the original plus a couple more levels. And as far as I saw, there isn't really much progression. This just does one very specific thing. Uh, so let's let's get started and actually see what, what this does. So I'm going to go back to level one. I did not finish the game, as you can see at the top. Time to play Untangle. This game is really simple. Just make the lines not overlap. So now they overlap, now they don't. I can drag around these dots, and that's about it. Uh, level one, just a very basic level. Level two shows us a little bit more. And from then on out, it just gets more and more complicated. I'll be back later with more information, and this, this line means to me that somewhere along the the dots here, the levels, there might be more mechanics strewn in, but I haven't reached there uh, yet, so we'll see. But in any case, the reason I wanted to, to show you this game is, is that it's very simple, there's not much for me to say about it, is because of the story behind it. And this is from uh, Benjamin Sen, the guy who made this game. I had to write a really fast line intersection algorithm for another project and decided to make a game out of it. And this is, he also says that this is one of his first games. So this is to me really, really cool. I'm a really good nerd and I like math and physics. And this is basically graph theory. This is a very basic um, problem in graph theory. Well, I don't know if it's a very basic problem in graph theory, but it's definitely comes from graph theory. We have dots and you have lines intersecting and discovering how many how are the lines intersecting or how can you make the lines not intersect and given a specific problem can you make all the lines intersect or not and it's it's a it's a thing to think about in terms of graph theory and i i think it's pretty cool and interesting in the sense of a game it actually works pretty well it's it's cool to try out and untangle these it's the name of the game so i guess the name's pretty good to untangle these these woven line intersections and just try things out and um, the thing is that you can actually think about this mathematically and clearly he wouldn't make a level that's impossible so all levels here are possible you just have to think about them mathematically but for most people you don't do that at all you just kind of try and think about it uh, from a structural point and try things because you can never it's not like you can go wrong You can always just you know move things back uh, One thing that I'm sad is that there's no reset button But I guess I could just click another level and then go back to the previous level that I was in and it'll restart automatically There's no undo button those would be useful to take a dot from where you, where you just put it into the last place and maybe even have a stack so you can you can control Z so to speak you can undo all the way up to the beginning of the level if we're talking in terms of UI and a little bit more comfortability uh, in playing the game comfortability that's a word but the the thing is that it this is this is cool to me because it comes from math and it comes from from some kind of discipline that we don't often see in games and you make a game out of it because it's, it's a cool algorithm. And I, I share that enthusiasm that this is a cool algorithm, maybe I can make something interesting with it, sort of like a game. And I think that people who, who love math and physics and those type of things should try and think and bring into games these cool things because this is pretty damn interesting. And a lot of good puzzle games start out as math problems and then you just make it into a mechanic and into a game and it comes out pretty cool. So this one, done already. And um, this is fun. Th there's nothing amazing here. You might get it a little bit tedious and there isn't much progression, at least where I saw, um, I kind of stopped playing around here because I saw there re really isn't m much more to it, but I might get back to it later and, and finish it and see if there's any progression. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. Again, there isn't much for me to say. I just wanted to, to put up this way of thought about what what's the the basic mechanic of creating games and where you can bring inspiration to to create such things uh it's untangle 1.5 it's by benjamin sen and uh, that's it thank you so much for watching concept hunter and i'll see you guys next time bye